a good start for the uh, this unit because they're not going to get a lot of ice time. But what a tremendous hit behind the net that started everything rolling for this unit. You can see right behind the net, two hits. And then the pass out in front. And there's John Roos Drews on the spin around. Beats Rhodes on the short side. And that's the side that you really have to pay some attention to and be close to that pipe. Rhodes wasn't. Flyers get on the board. I had to feel good for John Drews. He was placed on waivers, cleared waivers, was sent to the Phantoms for, I believe, less than 24 hours, called back up, and now he's on the board with a goal. Defensive mode here as Gratton just measures him with the right. Not sure how many of them are connecting, but Hetchcash never threw a punch. It was Chris Gratton doing all the tossing there, and his second fight of the year is a victory. Yeah, I think he caught Netscash with a few uppercuts. You know, when a, if a player puts his head down, the last thing you want to do is hit the helmet, so your uppercut is what you want to try. And even though Netscash is not marked, he was getting some congratulations for surviving that fight from his teammates. A lot of pushing and shoving to start it out. And once you look another person in the eye, that's normally the, the signal to drop the sticks and away you go. <laughs> the looks on the fans, uh, in the front row, is, they're all smiling, you know, as these two try to knock the towel out of one another. He doesn't know where to go. John LeClaire, again, the Midas touch. That puck just seems to fall him around. But let's give some points to Vinny Prothbull. He had time to make a play. He took his time. He wasn't being forced. And when you give a player time, boy, good things happen. Watch right now that Vinny Prothbull, there he is in the half board, just waiting, waiting, waiting. And he's moving besides. And that long pass to Lindros for a one-timer. And then everybody, both defensemen, started to go at Lindros. Everybody forgets about John LeClaire. The closest guy is Yashin, and he certainly was in a position to check him, so the Flyers have grabbed a two-to-one lead. Six straight with a goal for John LeClaire. That ties his career high for a goal streak. And now, I mean, this is getting insane. He has scored a goal in 12 of the last 13 Flyer games. Here's Trent Klatt looking for the puck, but he's bodied by Netscash. They've got goals in two straight. It's 3-1 Philadelphia, and it is a power play goal. What a pass over to Gratton, and there he demonstrated a shot that uh, put him in a 30-goal category last year, overpowering, and the congratulations from Lindros. Watch the uh, pass from Falloon, and there's nobody on that side of the ice, and from the top of the circle, ripping a slap shot past Damian Rhodes, again on the short side. So the uh, Flyers have certainly capitalized by beating Rhodes on the short side. A smile for Chris Gratton. Game. And the Flyers lead 4-1. to one. And it all started by getting in the, get the puck in deep. There was no passing room. Get it in deep and then work down low. Boy, has that worked for the Flyers tonight. Shoot the puck at the net and then crash the net. Flyers have been working on that for the last couple of weeks and is really paying huge dividends. So an explosion here late in the second period has vaulted the Flyers into a 4-1 to lead. See, everything is deep. Everything is deep. And watch LaCroix now make an excellent play coming up with that puck. And then Sean Podine going for the net. Oh, boy. What a play by Podine. That's how you get out of slumps. Either shoot the puck or crash the net. That was beautiful. And yeah, number 20, 28, Lambert, was all over him. But uh, Sean Podine, he won the race.